I am what I am and that's all that I am. Why? I am what I am, I'm a hooligan. hooligan. I am what I am and that's all that I am. Why? I am what I am, I'm a hooligan. hooligan. I am what I am and that's all that I am. Why? I am what I am, I'm a hooligan. hooligan. I am what I am and that's all that I am. Why? I am what I am, I'm still a hooligan. hooligan. I'm waking up like hey, what's up guys? BD here. Uh, I'm going to try this one more time. I screwed this up the last time I tried to record this, so I'm going to try one more time here. What I'm going to do today is something I've always missed out on when I watch other uh, video bloggers, uh, especially those who are riding motorcycles, scooters, whatever, bikes, is that they don't ever really cover what their sort of setup is, what they're recording with, uh, how they uh, like it, if they don't like it, if they had any recommendations, things they wish they did. Um, so I'm going to do that with my setup. It's a very basic setup, um, and I will do a little review of the microphone itself. So I'm going to try to read this off because I tried to memorize it over two days, and I cannot memorize the whole title to save my life. It's kind of a tongue twister. So if you don't mind, I'm going to look this way and read this off to you. So uh, the microphone is the Movo GM100 Lavalier Lapel Clip-On omnidirectional condenser microphone for GoPro Hero 3, Hero 3 Plus, and Hero 4 Black, White, and Silver Edition. Nailed it! Uh, it's a very basic microphone, but it serves its purpose. I got a GoPro 3 Plus Silver Edition camera. It was a gift a couple Christmases ago, and I love it. It came in a package with extra battery, a special charger for both batteries, uh, like an external charger, an SD card. So then I spent like another 15 bucks uh, on a big attachment package. And then I'll probably cover that product a little bit after I try some more of the items and you know really have something worthwhile to say about it. The one thing I was missing was sound. I wanted to be able to talk. Uh, I like making my videos with music and just enjoying the scenery and the ride. But I wanted to talk like all the other people I watch on, on YouTube. You know, I have things to say and people probably don't care, but I want to talk about it. So what I wanted to do was get a basic mic. The first thing I did is uh, I got a helmet because I typically wear a brain bucket, um, which isn't really conducive to miking up and mounting a camera. So I got a full face helmet. I'll show you that right here. Okay, so this is the helmet that I got. Uh, I purchased it on Amazon. I think I got it for right around 50 bucks, 59 bucks, something like that. It's a very basic helmet. Um, I got it primarily because I like this, uh, this star design. It reminded me of Captain America's shield. So I, I actually think I'm going to paint it to look like Captain America's shield. Um, We'll see. We'll get to that one thing at a time. But for now, my big thing was is I wanted to mount a microphone or a GoPro. I wanted to mount my GoPro and I wanted to mic it up. So I got the uh, the Movo GM100 microphone. I'm not going to read the whole thing again because I will not say it right. Uh, and when it came, I realized that one thing I was going to have to do was to cut a hole in the case to mic it up. It connects via the USB connection right here. Um, so the next thing I did was I ordered an extra housing and I, I got it, um, made sure that it worked, that it was in good condition. Then I took my old housing, which is this one, and I used my Dremel and just cut this space out. It lets me easily plug in my USB and then I was able to run the cable over to here where I use some sticky back Velcro and uh, I painted it black because all I had was white. So I just painted that up. It seems to be holding up pretty good. I added some Velcro there because I can change the setup depending on how I have the camera set and configured. Um, 
but this is what seems to be working the best for me now. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is even though this sticks in very well, uh, I always worry about it falling out. So they do sell these products. It's kind of like a little bit of silly putty and it just kind of sticks around. It doesn't cause any problems. It doesn't gum up the work, so to speak. Um, and it makes sure that it stays in. So far I haven't had a problem, so I've kind of put that off for now, but if it ever does become an issue, I'll go ahead and get that for like a dollar fifty, I think it is, and uh, I can set that up. The arm came in that multi uh, accessory kit that I bought off of Amazon. It was a bunch of different pieces. I just put them all together and then I can adjust it, aim it however I want, wherever I want. Um, and then the mounting itself is actually uh, came with that kit as well. It's a super sticky, durable, uh, double-sided sticky piece of rubber essentially, um, which is really great. It has a little bit of give. Um, but as for running the microphone, this is the fun part, is the cable is pretty long. So what I did was I ran the cable all the way around the rear of my helmet. You can see some of the tape here because I took out some of the side uh, padding on my helmet because it was just kind of crushing my face. So I took that out and you can see how I have the wires managed. Um, I've worked in IT most of my life so managing wires is kind of like a obsessive compulsive thing for me but when it comes out here on the other side I was able to run it and you will see right here is the microphone it's very small very basic has very basic pop protector but one of the things that I like about this helmet is I found I'm going to show you on the opposite side is there's this little recess that was underneath the um the padding on the inside and when I removed it I was able to set the microphone down in there put a little tape over it just to hold it but it essentially holds the microphone just off to the side of my mouth and I get some pretty decent recordings I mean the only problems I've had seem to be a little bit of a whistling noise that picks up sometimes but that's the helmet it's not the microphone itself and I'm not gonna blame the microphone because it picks up a whistling noise but anyways so far so good Everything, I haven't had any problems, uh, even though it just has a basic pop protector uh, because it's inside the helmet like this. Um, it, it doesn't seem to be an issue at all. I really enjoy it. So that is my setup for my microphone on my helmet. Uh, so later on this month, I'm working on the April video now. Keep an eye out for it and tell me what you think about the sound quality. If you have any questions or anything, uh, hit me up in the comments section. If you really like the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, check out our videos as they come out. I'm going to be doing some videos of the rides of rallies this summer. I'm hoping to go to Swerve and Curve 19 this July. It's going to be July 27th, I think it kicks off. So uh, if you see me there, if you see any of the hooligans, go ahead and say hi. Um, I'm going to be recording. Maybe we could get you on the video. But be sure to say hi. If you ever see me on the street, say what's up. I'll give you some stickers. And, uh, you know, I like to meet the people who watch the videos. There's not that many right now, but I'm hoping that that will change soon. Anyways, this has been BD. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I will talk to you next time. Keep, keep an eye out for that April video. It will be hitting... Uh, YouTube very shortly here. I'm in the middle of editing it right now. I just want to take a break and do this. Do something different. Change it up. Anyways, peace out. Ride on. Uh, hooligans. Carp life.